Russia versus Walmart. Who would win? Some ground rules. Walmart may purchase any American-made weaponry that it can afford with its current revenue, 611.3 billion USD as of 2023. Russians can't use nukes out of fear of provoking retaliation from the United States. Russia may receive financial aid from Target. It would take Russia 300 days just to reach the produce section. Every employee gets a Palmetto AR-15 in one of those US-made RPGs. Russia would be stopped by the mobility scooter cohorts before they even got to the bottle return. Walmart offers every Russian service member who surrenders a $50 voucher that can be spent on alcohol. 100% of Russians defect. Walmart wins by default with zero shots fired. Neither have the ability to invade each other immediately and it would take years, even decades, for one to build the expeditionary capabilities to decisively beat the other. In the meantime, you would see FSB agents assassinating Walmart employees in the UK and all-out warfare in Africa between Wagner and Walmart PMCs over their African locations as both sides simply race to build the capability to invade each other. It's uncertain what China and India might do to their local Walmarts. They might be nationalized or rebranded to support Russia, like how McDonald's became simply delicious. Walmart brings semi-auto guns back to their stores and acquires various weapon and ammunition manufacturers, both for their own consumption and to sell under the Walmart brand. Walmart becomes a major competitor to PSA slash AAC. This may cause competitors other than Target to start sending financial aid to Russia. Eventually, Walmart wins because it has the bigger budget, isn't hit by sanctions, has more current and recruitable personnel, and better logistics. It'll take a while for them to train their employees into actual soldiers and officers, though. The only way Russia can win with certainty and without nooks is by playing its cards right with the political, social, diplomatic game, special operations, and fifth-gen warfare. Walmart. Always same prices. Always. Shagmayat. God damn it. This war made me learn Cyrillic. Walmart needs to buy a couple of F-35s and supplies to operate them for three years and Russia will cease to exist. Walmart employees have to survive Black Friday. They are the most combat capable force on Earth. Not even Waffle House employees can defeat them, but only because they are not numerous enough. 100,000 Waffle House employees could topple even the US Coast Guard. They'd conduct proxy wars in various low-income area dollar stores for decades and never really meet that often in battle. It'd be a long war of attrition and Russia would lose because their Walmart's revenue comes from feeding fat hogs and that's never drying up. It's a tough call. Mobix are one of the only forces on Earth that actually receive more humiliation than a Walmart employee. To the people jerking off Walmart for being American and thus well equipped, are you retarded? They won't even pay them $15 an hour. You think they're going to give their men good gear before they send them to die? They'd probably get a t-shirt and a pistol with two clips. Mobix are one of the only forces on Earth that actually receive more humiliation than a Walmart employee? Kind of incredible. Walmart has forklifts, so probably them even if their standard soldier was equipped with the usual inventory of Walmart gear and guns. Walmart may purchase any American-made weaponry that it can afford with its current revenue, 611.3 billion USD as of 2023. Domestic cost, 3.5 million per one launcher plus carrier from year 2014. 4.4 million in 2023. Per one launcher plus carrier, 168,000 per one M31 GMLRS from year 2023. Spend 44 billion on 10,000 launcher carriers. Spend 44 billion more on service and maintenance. Spend 168 billion on 1 million GLMRS rockets. Kill each Russian soldier individually by firing a GLMRS rocket with his name. Invest $25 billion into curing tinnitus. Keep the remaining $320 billion to stay in business. Decisive Walmart victory. This. The greeter would probably kill 100 before they made it through the doors. Also, Russian vehicles would crush their own soldiers whilst looking for parking implying Russians would be polite enough to park instead of just ditching their vehicles on the sidewalks or in the gardens. Clocking into Walmart for another tour. Non-commissioned manager tells me we need to cut a path through the Lego aisle to reach the Claire's. 
so we can cut off Russian logistics. Before we can even make it to the sporting goods, we slip on a bunch of olive oil spilled by target mercenaries. Watch my friends and comrades die a couple miles from home, covered in blood and Italian food products. War is hell.